Yeah, what's up guys? Welcome to physics class and I am Flash Isaac. Today I'll be taking you through position, distance and displacement. Position, distance and displacement are commonly confused terms in physics. Now let's look at what they mean and what differentiates them. Position is where an object is at a particular time or at every point in time. If I draw something like this and I am here, this is the point I am. This is my what? Position. Now let's say my position here is S is equals, let's say, 1 meter. Then I jump and jump, teach, 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 and land here. So I am here now. So let's call here, let's call this my position 3 meter. So let's, this is my position with respect to X. So let this be my S1, that is my position 1, and S2 or SF, final position. This is my initial position. Let's take the eye. This is my final position relative to it. So if you are asking what what and why here my position is one meter? Why here my position is three meter? So that means I moved from here to here. Displacement is simply change in position. That displacement, change in position, meaning displacement is change in position. So I can say, okay, change in S or change in this position is equals SF, my final position, minus initial position, which is S initial. This will give us SF is my final position, which is 3 meter. SI is my initial position, which is 1 meter. So therefore, 3 minus 1, 3 meter minus 1 meter is equals 2 meter. So this is my displacement. And assuming I still move again, let's say with respect to S, 2 meter, 5 meter, my displacement here will be 3. 5 minus 2 is 3. 3 meter. This is my displacement. Now I've explained position and I've explained displacement. You may be wondering what is now distance? Distance is simply the total ground covered by an object. If now let's say here, from here to here, I cover 2 meter relative to earth. So this is 2 meter I've covered. I continue teaching. I move from here to here, I cover 3 meter displacement. Now, this displacement, 2 m meter plus this 3 meter absolute value. Because in distance, there's no negative value. Distance is positive, it's a vector quantity. So, this will give us 5 meter. So, the total distance covered is 5 meter. So distance is different from uh, position and displacement in the sense that distance is talking about the total ground covered. Now, position and displacement are vector quantities. Vector quantities. Distance is a scalar quantity. Distance is a scalar quantity in the sense that in distance, it's only the size that matters. It focuses only on size. And this is what we call magnitude in physics. And I say, okay, distance covered 2 meter, 3 meter. So we don't care about the direction. But this uh, position and displacement are vector quantities in the sense that it cares about size and direction. It cares about magnitude and direction. Now, if you look at this displacement, there is an arrow sign. It means we are concerned in which direction did he move. So even if you have something like this, 
this is your y axis this is your x axis so we are making reference with y and x axis distance becomes important your movement becomes important as you are moving where are you moving to what is your position in space what's the word displacement now let me give another illustration to make these things uh, easier for you to understand now take a look at this illustration this is staircase with so many stairs i am climbing now the other steps i took is not in consideration they said start from the tenth step so at that point i'm starting from point 10 that's my position initially now i take 100 steps up 95 steps down calculate position so i'm not to calculate my new position to calculate displacement and to calculate distance now you are already 10 and you are taking another 100 steps upward this implies that 10 plus 100 is this is 110 so you are now in the number 110 step which should be around here and it says 99 steps down from the number one, uh, 110 steps you took 99, 95 steps down this implies that 95 comes down 95 steps down this implies that your new position which is here has to be 110 steps minus 95 this is 15 so your position now is what step 15 step 15 so from the 10th step you took 110 uh, 100 steps up meaning you are in the 110 step you took 99 steps downward so your new position here will be 110 minus 95 that will be here so 15 steps step 15 is your what? position now what is the displacement you are here 15 you started from 10 displacement doesn't consider all the steps you take no it's considered the difference between your starting point and the end point so the difference in position the change in position is your displacement which implies that the position you are now minus the position you wear that's 15 minus 10 equals 5 this is your what displacement so your displacement equals 5 your position is 15 15th step fifth step now what is the distance covered the distance covered is simply your total movement the total ground you covered so you moved 100 steps then you moved another 95 steps 95 steps your distance your distance is simply 100 plus 95 which is 195 now 195 steps so that is the total ground you covered Thanks for watching, subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos like this.